Hey guys, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my channel. So, this week we had the recent announcement of Total War Attila, which will be the new game in the Total War franchise. The game is set in 395 AD. At this point in time, the Roman Empire was split into the Western and the Eastern Roman Empires. The game will be using the same engine as Rome 2, and to be honest, look very similar to it from a gameplay point of view, at least from what I saw in the live stream. There are some new additions though. There is an option to sabotage and leave a province. Basically, you would use this as a scorched earth policy to keep the enemy at bay and to buy yourself time when going on the defensive. The UI looks a little different as well. There did seem to be a couple more options. There's a new building browser, the option to zoom further out from the campaign map, and, and a permanent event log that records all major and minor events from the first turn until your last turn in a campaign playthrough. The big news though is that Family Tree is finally back, which the live crowd certainly seemed to enjoy. This was something that was omitted from Room 2 and Creative Assembly received heavy criticism from the fans of the series for this. They also showed a battle between the Ro Western Roman Empire and the Anglo-Saxons in a siege battle in Londinium. This really impressed me. The UI seemed to be doing a good job at pushing the defenders back and trying to use its units effectively by trying to outflank the playing opponent. One of the things I didn't like though was the trails following the javelins. I hope upon release that there will be an option to reduce this or even turn it off. There were also more options that the defender can utilise. One of these options were placing barricades on predefined locations within the city to give you more strategy when fighting down narrow streets. They also mentioned that fire can spread in these battles and the bigger the fire the lower your morale will go. Also in some cities civilians will sometimes join in on the battles, however they are more likely to run from the battle as they are not proper soldiers. Overall I'm fairly pleased with this new announcement. The game is basically Barbarian Invasion 2 which back in the day was actually one of my favourites. I just hope Creative Assembly have learned from their past mistakes and won't release a buggy or unfinished product. What do you think guys? What do you think about this new game? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye.